Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can everybody hear me? Hello, teacher. Yes, I can hear you. Excellent. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. Welcome back. Are you ready for your English class? It's Friday. How do you feel? We're ready. You're ready? Oh, that's so great. And tell me, do you have any, what, what did you do yesterday? We rest. Okay, okay. And did you go visit your, your family at the cemetery and all that good stuff? No, I didn't. No, you didn't? Okay, all right. Hey, what's going on, Carlos? Welcome. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I, I do it. I do it. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Carlos. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Uh, I'm great, teacher. And you? Very good, very good. I uh, I enjoyed yesterday from, okay. it was a day off, so I just worked, exercised, uh, you know, just taking it easy. Okay. Did, was, you, you, did, you, did you yesterday at the... Um, Cemetery or in Florida? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I went to put the, put the flowers and all that good stuff. But, you know, thank God everything was well. It was a beautiful day and uh, had a good time with the family. What about you? Well, yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. No, no. Uh, no visit at Cemetery. Okay, okay. What did you do? Teacher, do. It, um, <clears throat> I have a question. The, yes. the, um, the exercise, uh, the platform mm -hmm. is uh, um, 1.2. Uh, the, quest, the question number three. Okay. Uh, uh, what's, what's the section? Give me one second. Let me open uh, the platform. Okay. Let me open the platform. Give me one second. This one is advanced. It is one, one point two. Is the question number three? Point two. I write the the question. I I write the answer and uh, you are you 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 answer. Uh, the, the group, the, the WhatsApp. Ah, okay. What is the section? Section two? No, one. One. Section uh, one? one. Mm -hmm. okay. um, one point, point two. The answer one, number three. One point two. Oh, this is yes. one point twelve. This is one point two. Okay, one point two. What answer? Yes. I I I I bad. Yeah, I I write it's bad. Yeah, this is something that we gotta fix on the platform. I already yeah. ya lo reporté. Mm -hmm. Ya okay. lo reporté. Sí, el día que lo hicimos lo reporté. Okay, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Carlos. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look. I know that everybody had. The day off yesterday, everybody was feeling good. So today, I would like for us to move forward, and we're going to be looking at section number two. Well, not section number two, uh, maybe section number uh, 2.2. Let's do 2.2. Instructions, complete the news story with the present perfect or past tense form of the verb in parentheses. 
So let's look at the video. Hi, are you ready to use two tenses at once? Can everybody Stay hear? And learn how to use present perfect versus simple past. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. Yeah. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. The trainer has saved all the paintings. Use the simple past to report an event with a specific time reference. After a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find her keys. I started teaching her to paint last year. When is present perfect used? Present perfect is used when reporting a recent event without a specific time reference. The present perfect is also used for repeated actions in the past with no time reference. It is also used for actions or situations that began in the past and continue until now, especially when for or since is used. When is simple past used? Simple past is used to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past. So how long have you studied English for? Who was your first English teacher? All right, we're going to repeat one more time. Repeat one more time. Hi, are you ready to use two tenses at once? Stay and learn how to use present perfect versus simple past. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. The trainer has saved all the paintings. Use the simple past to report an event with a specific time reference. After a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find her keys. I started teaching her to paint last year. When is present perfect used? Present perfect is used when reporting a recent event without a specific time reference. The present perfect is also used for repeated actions in the past with no time reference. It is also used for actions or situations that began in the past and continue until now, especially when for or since is used. When is simple past used? Simple past is used to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past. So how long have you studied English for? Who was your first English teacher? Okay, who can give me an example of a sentence using the simple past? Give me one example of a sentence using the simple past. One example. For example, I went to the I beach. I ate ice cream. I ate ice cream. Very good. Now that is the simple past. What is an example of I ate ice cream in the present perfect? I have eaten ice cream. I have eaten ice cream, right? So you got two examples. You got simple past. I ate ice cream. That is the simple past. Present perfect. I have, auxiliary verb, have eaten past participle ice cream. Or for example, I watched, I watched, um, let's say, a good movie, Avengers. I watched the Avengers. Simple past. I have watched the 
Avengers, present perfect. Or for example, simple past, I went to the Boqueron, present perfect. I have gone to the Boqueron. Any questions? Any questions? No question, let, me have, teacher. let me have one example. One example, please. Who can give me an example? I went to buy, to buy the supermarket. Okay, so you can say, I went grocery shopping, right? You said super, I went grocery shopping. I have gone grocery shopping. He ido de compras del super select. All right, so what I want you to do, guys, for this exercise, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, and I want you to come over here at the bottom on the platform, and I want you to give me the title is going to be Present Perfect Versus Simple Past. You're going to put it right here, Present Perfect Versus Simple Past. And then over here, you're going to put number one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to give me an example. I went to the beach. I have gone to the beach. So you're going to give me one example, simple past, one example, present perfect. Any questions? When you finish, you're going to go enviar. Send. Send. Excellent. Excellent. Any questions? No question, teacher. All right, you will have five minutes in pairs. Ready, let's go. Five minutes, I'm gonna let somebody share the screen. Let's go.
All right, guys, are y'all finished? Can I get an example, please? Uh, ok, guys, vamos a hacer los grupos otra vez porque tenemos compañeros que van ingresando. All right, two to three, let's go. All right, any questions at this moment? Questions at this moment? Preguntas en no. este momento? Ok, ready, let's go.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes. All right. Can I have some examples, please? Can somebody give me one example, please? One example. Me? Yes. <laughs> I swam in the pool. I swam in the pool. Very good. Good example. Somebody I else. Have, mm -hmm. ha, I have swam in the pool. I have swum in the pool. Perfect, Elizabeth. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Somebody else got another example. Somebody else got another example. Okay, Elmer. Uh, I drove the car. Mm -hmm. I have driven the car. I have driven the car. Good, good. Okay, good job. Now we're going to move forward and we're going to be looking at knowledge check. Complete the news story with the present perfect or past tense form of the verb in parentheses. Just type the verb in brackets. No capital letter or period is necessary. So you're gonna work with your partner and complete this section in pairs, in pairs. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. All right, let's go. Hello, Wilmer. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, okay. So we get to complete the knowledge check. Yes. Um. What is the number number one? How is storm? Yes, I think that it have stolen. And the number two. 
Last night at about 1 a.m. the alarm. I don't know, but I went. think it I think it went gone. because it's um, a specific it's a specific time. Mm. So this is simple past. Yes. I think this is yeah. one. Yeah. It's went. went. Yes. Went. In okay. Number three. Number three is rushed. Rushed. Yes. And the number number four. Say it like to say word. Too late. Where? Yes. Right after learning of the robbery, the mayor set up. This is set. Yes, for it's me. It's the same. Set. It's the same. Six, three people go. So far, but the police are still looking for further I think that it is half cold. Half cold. Half yes. cold. Yes. Number seven is have left. Have left, yes. And number eight is has offered. Has offered, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, too, I have too checked, wrong. Check, check my my answer, and I have two two. Well, wow. the first and the second. Yes, the first and the second. Mm. In the first is half is tall. No, it's half, it's has. Has. In the second, I don't know, I changed the change the 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 bear and Simple present and went is bad and change uh, present perfect and bad the answer. I don't know. And Gloria and you? Let me see. Mm -mm. I tried with have gone, but 
it's wrong. It's still wrong. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. The Maris? Do you I have an answer? That. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> it's difficult, the number second. <laughs> yes. Mm -mm. I don't know. I tried with another verb. I, I don't know. Yet, I changed the, no. the verb and the present sample and the present perfect and it's wrong. <laughs> But we have um, seven, seven answer. Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Y, 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 en la, y en, también en, en, el, en el knowledge de que enviaron, se fijaron que nadie tiene 100 en, en, en la primera sección porque hay una que siempre sale mala. Sí, hay, hay errores de, en el sistema. Ajá. We finished. Finish the, the homework. Yes, we, we finished. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> we don't know, but this is still wrong. I try, but, but the answer is wrong. I change again, again, again. The bird is no, it's good. All right, guys, is everybody finished? Who can give me the answer for the first one? A group of thieves. A group of thieves. What is your answer? Number one, a group of thieves stole or have stolen? Has stolen. Very good. A group of thieves have stolen the dragon's eye ruby from the grand gallery. Excellent. We say have 
stolen. Why is not has stolen? Why we don't say has stolen? Why? Because it's plural. Excellent. Correct. Because it's plural. So we say thieves is plural. So we say have. Good job. All right. Who can do number two? Second, I lost the sign. Give me a second. Okay, who can read number two for me? Number two. Went off, teacher. Went off. Can you read the complete sentence, please? Can you Last read the. Night. Mm -hmm. Last night at a bow. One AM. Uh huh. One AM. The alarm went off. Went off. Excellent. Thank you, Carlos. Number okay, three. Richard. Number three. Another volunteer, number three. Somebody, number three. Anybody, Christ. number three. Uh, Gloria? Rushed. Rush, can you read the complete sentence, please? Police rushed to the building immediately. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Gloria. Number four. Me, teacher. Yes. Go ahead, Elisa. But they were too late. But they were too late. Awesome. Very good, Elisa. Number five. Number five, another volunteer. Number five. Anybody, anybody, number five. Me, teacher. Carlos. Right after learning of the robbery, the mayor set up a telephone hotline for information about the, the D Dev. Excellent. Telephone hotline for information about the theft. Number six. Number six. Three people. Plural subject. Elizabeth. Huh? <laughs> have called. Excellent. Have called. Can you read the complete sentence, please? Three people have called so far, but the police are still looking for the food further information. Further information. Further information. Further. Repeat. Further. 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 Very good. Thank you. All right. Let me have number seven. They believe it is probable that the thieves have left. Have left the city have left the city. Good job. Number eight, the curator of the Grand Gallery have offered. Have offered. Have offered. 
Good job. A $50,000 reward for information leading to the capture of the thieves. Good job, guys. Oh, what happened to this one? Has offered. Ah, yes. It has, teacher. Yes. Who can tell me why this one is has? Because it says the curator of the mm -hmm. brand gallery is singular. Singular subject. So we have a singular subject. We have a singular auxiliary. Has. All right. Any questions? No questions. No questions. All right. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the next activity, which is at the end of this class. Participants will practice using the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. Listen, please. Listen, please. Is the following question the same as in the previous section? Listen carefully. Can everybody How long hear? Have you been studying English? Can everybody yes, hear? Yes. You can hear? Yes, you can. Okay, 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 okay. Is the following question the same as in the previous section? Listen carefully. How long have you been studying English? Use the present perfect continuous to describe temporary situations and actions that are not yet completed. The present perfect describes permanent situations and recently completed actions. A dog has been stealing all the attention. Temporary situation. I've always surfed with my dog. Permanent situation. Mai has been amazing visitors by painting for her supper. Not yet completed action. I've locked my keys in the car. Recently completed action. Use the present perfect with the passive or with stative verbs such as be, love, and have. He's always loved it. Present perfect versus present perfect continuous. When do we use the present perfect tense? We use the present perfect tense to talk about things where there is a connection between the past and the future. For example, he started writing books at some time in the past. So far, he has written 16 books. He may write more books. Let's go over some sentences. I have painted the living room blue. The focus is on the result. The activity is finished and we can see the result now. Now let's go over this other sentence. I have been decorating the house this summer. The focus is on the action, decorating, and the action is unfinished. In other words, we can say that we use the present perfect continuous when the focus is on activity that is unfinished. Let's see more examples and analyze them with me. I read the book you lent me. I finished it yesterday. The present perfect I read gives the idea of completion. I've been reading the book you lent me. I've got another 50 pages to read. The present perfect continuous I've been reading suggests that something is unfinished. She's been writing emails for three hours. The present perfect continuous has been writing talks about how long something has been happening. She has written 10 messages. The present perfect has written talks about how much or how many have been completed. I've worked here for 30 years. We can use the present perfect to talk about how long when we view something as permanent. I usually work in LA, but I've been working in San Francisco for the last three weeks. The present perfect continuous is often used to show that something is temporary. Can you tell the difference now? Did you understand it? To make sure you did, type on our discussion box some examples using both tenses. Okay, now for this example, what I would like for to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to give you some examples in regards to the present perfect continuous. For example, I have lived, oh no, I have been living 
I have been living, I have been living in San Salvador for 10 years, present perfect continuous. Or I have lived in San Salvador, San Salvador, since 2010, right? Present perfect. I have been living, sorry, I have been living in San Salvador for 10 years and I have lived in San Salvador since 2000, okay. So here we can say, I have been living. I have been living in San Salvador since 2010. He, I have lived, I have been living in San Salvador for 10 years. So you can say it both ways. Or you can say, um, I have been studying English since 2020. I have been studying English since 2020. Or I have been studying English for two years. All right, so you can say it both ways. I have been living in San Salvador for 10 years, or I have been living in San Salvador since 2010. It's the same thing, present perfect continuous. I have been studying English since 2020, or I have been studying English for two years. It's the same thing. Any questions? Any questions? Questions? Somebody? All right. So I want you to come over here in the discussion box and I want you to give me five examples. Five examples similar to my examples. I'm going to change partners. We're going to change the groups. Close all rooms. Close all rooms. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. All right. So we got Ana, Elisa, Sandra, Damaris, Elmer, Gloria, and Saul, Carlos, Cristina, and Elizabeth. Ready? Let's go. And complete the platform. I don't know. Uh, because he take he 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 doesn't take assistance. And now, <laughs> yeah, pensé que toman asistencia también. <laughs> yes, but but let me. I discover a new discover a new application. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> then complete the, the exercise. 
the exercise, yes. Point five. Many residents, bah, number one. Many residents be homeless, everything. Ah. Have been. Um, or oh, has been. Has been, no. Have, have. been. It's plural. Yes, yes. It's plural. It's correct. Let has, me has, have been I have been have been yes have been okay, okay. have been number two Okay. Number two, they is how to say it. How to say it. Yes. Have stay, no. Have been staying. Quedado. Ellos se han quedado con. No, no, no. Stay. The bird is tied a great AD only. Okay. Are you sure? Has. Has. Has a style. Has. Or has. One, you have or has. With homes. Because it's they. Homes. Homes. They. Son ellos. Uh-huh. It's plural. plural. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have stay. Number it's three. Plural. Or tow crew repair repair. I don't know. Uh, crew or tow crew has repair. No. What does crew mean? Mm, have been repairing. I don't. Know. The number yes. two is bad. <laughs> no hard. Number two is hard. It has. I don't know, sir. <laughs> it has. has. No, has. Tampoco. Tampoco. no, 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 has. Tampoco. no, 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 Hey. No, ha, ha. The ha. bird, I don't know if it's correct. The bird is tired, I don't know. Being stayed. Same. Has been. No. No. Envía la respuesta, a ver. No. Por... Number two. Six. Power. No. No. <laughs> Only one is correct. <laughs> oh my god. Is is difficult the answer. Yes. <laughs> Has been staying. They have been staying. And have in in this have been no have has no has no. <laughs> porque es ter, porque es plural y el has es singular. Yes. yes. Stay. Thank you.
No, la tres está buena también. ¿Cuál? La tres. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Has been repaired. Has been repaired. It's yes. a point. <laughs> This day still. No. The bear, the number two, the bear is tired, or oh, no? Staying? No. <laughs> See, it's staying. It's staying. Slow. Maybe. Yes, 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 number three. <laughs> had been. Had been mm. number three. Number two, number two. Had been had staying. Been. Staying. Had been, had been, had been, had been. Staying. No, no, mm. no bird. ED, no. It's ENG. Uh huh. Stain. Ng. Yes. 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 In the slow. A slow one. Not slow. Oh, ya no va a sacar un, un minuto. No. All right, guys, it's time to go. It's time to go. Please continue working on the platform, and we're going to see you on Monday. Please continue working on the platform. Okay, teacher. Okay, good teacher. Okay, teacher. Good night, right. teacher. Good night, good night. Have a good night. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.